Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 4 of Healing Good Pretty Here. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Is something wrong? Probably. She lives in a clinic. That's awesome. Of course he is. Are you okay? Can we just say that is the best way? <laughs> the mascot says that she's married to Tavita a partner. Oh my god. Top tier. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is stupid. It's hot. <laughs> This girl might be worse than Ray's life for some <laughs> Woo, shit. Mm. Freaking Kobayashi still at Four weeks into this show and I still can't believe it. Let me guess, you are her brother.
Now, see, y'all just makes me thirsty for something sweet. Like, I I'm drinking water today, which is good, but... This is why sometimes in Japan they need to have, like, a freaking pretty cure cafe. I'm just saying. You had to say their moon one. It's so many freaking Sailor Moon ones and, and so many other ones. Lay back camp, everything. Pretty cute. He is, honestly, but, oh my god, it's just a big old mistake. Yeah. Yeah, you are someone who seems easily distracted, but that's okay. Are you okay? Ma? Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense to make it be clothes because she loves clothes. Oh, mirror. Okay, but still. Close. No.
<laughs> Honestly, I love her spunk and her attitude. <laughs>
Is that green in it? Yeah, there's green in it. Okay. I get it. If only she could have met Twinkle, like, oh my god. Amazing, but no. Yeah, you, you nothing. Yeah. I know that voice. Here we go. This is officially a start of the beautiful Prince family night.
honestly, I really don't know what to say about this episode. It was good. I do love Hina. She's just a cute little ball of sunshine. You just have to love her. If you don't love her, you got problems. You if you don't love any three of these girls, you got freaking problems. I just know a lot of people are going to really immediately compare them to Pretty Girl in the Past. Because last night, I saw a very interesting tweet. Somebody said that they didn't really like the transformations of this show. Because of the fact is they were so in love with... Um, Star Twinkles, because Star Twinkles was very unique, having singing in, and so a lot of people feel like with this show and seeing the transformations in the show, something is missing. Yes, it is singing. I don't think, and I kind of said, I think I said it like when I finished uh, Star Twinkle, the singing was just really a season of a test. That that whole season last season was just a complete test. To putting songs in the transformation sequences and stuff. And so they must have looked at it. And some people probably said yes it was good. Some people said no it wasn't good. And they all made a creative decision to not put songs into the transformations for this show. It doesn't mean that the, the transformation scenes are going to come up again in later seasons. You just really don't know. It could just be one and done and they'll never want to do it again. It's up to total animation. It ain't up to me. I thought it was interesting. Oh. Oh yeah, continuing. I mean, I get the fact that some people don't really like this transformation because of the fact is they're so close tight knit and they still love Star Trek Pretty Care because Star Trek Faker just recently ended four weeks ago and so it's still fresh in your mind. The only thing that I can really kind of compare it to is if any of you have seen the show Doctor Who, um, whether you've been when the show was <laughs> airing in black and white or you came like me when the show was getting revamped and you're continuing watching it now. When you are used to someone for a season or a couple of seasons as a different character and such, and then when it's their time to, you know, quit the show and then we find out that there's a new actor playing the doctor, whether it's a man or now officially a woman in the show. Um, and when you first officially see that, ca that person, portraying the doctor maybe like just for like a couple of seconds before the newest season starts everyone so tight knit and still loves and worships the previous one and when they see the newer one they're really sort of hesitant about it because of the fact is it's like this is the legacy for a year or so usually a year sometimes with doctor who um a year or more same thing pretty here that these girls or a man <laughs> or a woman um have you know stood by with you every either Saturday or Sunday, whenever the time, whatever time the show comes on. And so when a new group of girls or a new doctor comes, it's, it's weird. It takes a little while for people to warm up to the new characters or to the new person, because it's like, Oh, Hey, you're not like this person. So you'll never be this person. So maybe I need to stop comparing to them, P comparing you to them. Some people still do that till this day. I remember I've done it with, I've done it with some animes in the past from 2016 up until now. Even when watching, like, when I started doing reactions on Pretty Cure, doing from Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure, even up until now, thinking like, oh, she's kind of like her. Or, oh, she's kind of like this character, this character, this character. That's the thing that you get for, like, being with the series for such a long time. But at the same time, you need to really stop comparing a previous season to the newest season because... In the end, you're not really going to enjoy the newer season because of the fact is you're sitting back every single freaking episode and complaining about, oh, well, why isn't it like this? Well, this happened in this in this season of Pretty Girl, this season of Pretty Girl. You have to really just stop. Just watch the show. Yes, you can still love a previous series of Cre uh, Pretty Girl, but you don't have to immediately come in and be like, well, I don't like this show because of this, and I don't like this show because of that. Just watch the fucking show. Watch the show. Wait until the show is done. 
Wait until 2021 when this show is completely done for you to like say, okay, let's compare and contrast these two shows or let's compare this show to the entire series of Pretty Care to just see what they did right and what they did wrong. As of right now, I mean, four weeks in, I I'm enjoying it. I, uh, mm, I'm going to keep that little thing to myself. Oh, wait until maybe about... I think, uh, going into my initial things, I think I'm going to wait until about either 10, 12, or 15 to say what I really want to say. Because, I mean, we're still fresh. We're still new. I, I want to wait a couple episodes which are saying, like, mm, that will give me my thoughts on this. They're going to how do I really, truly feel about it? Because, um... I don't want it to be like how in the beginning where I said with Star Trek Pretty Care, I was like, oh my God, like this is freaking good. And it was for the first half until we got to a mm, certain part of the show where I was just like, what the fuck is this now? Um, I don't want it to be where I watched uh, Hagato and then getting into Star Twinkle and I was like, oh yeah, like this is so much better than Hagato. And I got shit on because everybody was like, well, it's only the first episode, yada, yada. And I was like, Honestly, I don't care because, as I told so many people before, I ain't like Hagato. I liked it for some, I, like, I only liked it for certain characters, but the story overall, I was just like, no. That was a big, fat no to me. And it'll, even as one of those shows that I reacted to for a whole year, it was, I think, as of right now, it is still my least favorite series. Besides, um, Heart Catch and stuff, because Heart Catch was Heart Catch. And, I mean, I've seen every single one ever since the beginning and I've I've never really done like a video where I would rank them I don't think I personally would I probably would just go like on Twitter and just be like here are my favorites here are my least favorites bam there you go satisfied nice tight-knit bow there you go take that present but yeah I mean the episode was good it was different I love the fact that hers uh Hinata's like the spirits that she's essentially saving are the lights and stuff and then we go into Chiyu I'm about to say Chiyuki, and hers is water, and then Hinata is flowers. It's really sweet. And now the biggest thing is I'm wondering, um, when is the team attack coming? When is, um, uh, they're supposed to be getting other bottles. So I know they're going to get the other bottles before the final gear comes. Because we know she's going to be here at least by episode 22 to episode 25, maybe. If they're going to make her come, like, a little bit closer. If they do what they did with Star Twinkle Pretty Cure. I will... That's, like, one of the biggest things that I'll applaud Star Twinkle Pretty Cure. Because I did love the fact that, um... My best girl got to come way, way early than my best girl... My other best girl from Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure LMO. Because, typically, when a Pretty Cure comes, it's usually, like, 25. And then, here's the new opening. And then, being it's like that. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Healing Good Pretty Hair. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys for next Sunday for episode five. Bye, guys.